Dell handily beat across the top and bottom lines in its most recent quarter thanks to strong demand for its AI server business, but the stock is tumbling during today's trade as questions linger on the company's margins. And here to discuss, we are now joined by Arthur Lewis, Dell Technologies Infrastructure Solutions Group President. Arthur, it is good to have you on the show. So let, let's dig right into this, Arthur, because the issue does seem to be uh, margins, Arthur, and, and margins around the AI servers. You know, Bernstein's Tony Sakanagi on the call, you, you heard him, Arthur, and I think he kind of put his, his finger on it here when he said it looks like operating margins for AI services servers are effectively at zero. So Arthur, can, can you walk us through this? What are the puts and takes here? What do you see looking ahead? And do you think, Arthur, that maybe is the market missing something here? Hey, Josh, thank you so much for having me uh, on the show. Look, we see incredible momentum in the infrastructure business. Um, you know, you think about $2.6 billion in orders, $1.7 billion in shipments, $3.8 billion of backlog, and a next five quarter pipeline that's a multiple. There's significant momentum. But I mean, think about this. I mean, this is a startup business for us that we started shipping in Q2. Over the last four quarters, we've shipped over three and a half billion dollars of AI dedicated servers. Um, we are winning more share with the tier two CSPs and we are helping every enterprise customer out there think about their deployment of generative AI. In addition to that, you know, we see growth in our server business, two consecutive quarters of year over year growth, uh, four consecutive quarters of sequential growth. And so we're excited about the server recovery. And, you know, as we said, the storage recovery, uh, you know, sort of lags the server recovery by one or two quarters. Uh, so we see that uh, ramping up in the second half, which is why we took up our guidance uh, to over 20% in ISG and delivering operating income well within our long-term growth framework of 11 to 14%. Arthur, it's Julie here. At the same time, I did see some analyst commentary that your outlook for the full year implies that you are not going to see very much AI server growth. Can you talk to us about that? What sort of, if you unpack your forecast, um, what it implies on that front? Yeah, so, you know, we have sequential growth going into Q2 and we have the second half sort of flat to that. You know, and the reason is because while we have a significant backlog, uh, a lot of the demand is project based and is also based on, you know, sort of suppliers availability to deliver, especially around the Blackwell 200 processor. So it's it's really nonlinear demand that might be a little difficult to forecast. So I think that's what you see uh, in our guidance.